it's not a doddle sitting. You get a backache and sometimes you feel rebellious. I, I mean, I have that. And some, sometimes it's perfectly all right. Sometimes you daydream, sometimes you become desperately impatient. But they keep on doing it throughout these changes of mood. Giorgio Vasari described the paintings of Raphael as living things. The same can be said for Frank Auerbach's portraits. The people in these remarkable pictures seem to breathe. Their pulse beats. Their lifelike animation is conspicuous. Piano Nobile's exhibition, Frank Auerbach, The Sitters, brings together portrait heads from 1956 to 2020. Auerbach has been making paintings and drawings of a select group of sitters since the 1950s. Scraped or rubbed away and renewed at each sitting, these tightly cropped pictures are a unique form of portraiture, transforming human likeness into structures of colour and line. Works made in oil paint and charcoal, chalk and graphite use a shared language of urgent and rhythmic accents. Always working from life, Auerbach relies on a rigid timetable. The sitters make weekly visits to his studio in Mornington Crescent. The sittings last two hours, and they continue from week to week over months, years and decades. After seven decades of painting, these portraits show Frank Auerbach's unfailing energy and his unique vision of the world. they've sat long enough, they're not self-conscious, you know, not self-conscious as a sitter, and as they become used to me, I can behave freely as though, you know, without any constraints of wondering whether I'm shocking them or anything of that sort. Uh, and then it, it, it never seems the end to me. If I've done, a, say, I've done ahead of them, well, that's all right. And I think of the person, I think, well, you know, there's more to them. That it's, it's, if they turned slightly, it would be different. If I did a half length, it would be different. And at any rate, the head only represents an aspect and something, although it perhaps hangs together, and although it seems to me to look like them, there are other things, but because they've moved around, because I've seen them over a long period of time, there are other things that wait to be put trade and so one goes on and I'm extremely grateful. It's also immensely useful to have somebody to come at the end of the day and sit. It gives one a charge of energy. You know, you've got to work, there they are, and I think somehow one gets a charge from the presence of another person.